Hello friends. Some people will know that I sometimes use puppets as a tool to open a conversation, often about a controversial issue or as part of a campaign for international trade justice or community relations in the area of identity and belonging. My work took me into many schools and community gatherings and as this was either on behalf of Corrie Mila or the project Moving Beyond Sectarianism, a nervous teacher or leader would often express the hope that I wasn't going to open a can of worms. A friend and colleague, knowing that this was a common concern for folk, saw and bought me this puppet. A can of worms. And so I wrote the play I'm going to present. It highlights something I learned about sectarianism and racism. That they are systems. That we are all involved. And that they thrive in denial and avoidance. So this wee play is about speaking out when we witness bullying or experience it because of what we are or what someone else is or how they look. The Can of Worms Pete and Ali were friends and Pete was urging Ali to tell the youth club leader about some subtle low-level racist bullying he had been subjected to in the club and more recently unfriendly racist graffiti that had appeared near his home. Go on then, tell the leader about it and open a can of worms. No way! But Ali, do you not see? If you don't speak out, the pressure in that can will only build up and eventually it'll explode. Well, it can explode in somebody else's face. Sure, it's only somebody messing about. Better to let sleeping worms lie, eh? <laughs> Look, when I was at primary school, I was a peer mediator and I know what it's best to talk about something like this. I know it's difficult, but you know, it isn't just somebody messing about. It's best to talk about it. You know who it is and I know it would help you both to talk. always be like that. He'll never be any different. He can't change people, Pete. You're right. You can't change anyone but yourself, Ali. And Tony can do the same. Everyone has the possibility to change. Come on. Good for you, Ali. Don't open the can. You still don't get it, do you? Opening the can is the last thing we worms want. We can do all the damage we want as long as people like you keep the lid on it. Don't rock the boat. Pretend to yourself we we'll go away that it's nothing to do with you. Nothing personal. Avoid the hassle. Feel the fear. I love it. Oh, Ray. You're not at it again, are you? I have to say, I'm not as sure as I used to be. People are learning more about us and catching on to the way we operate. Take that Pete, for instance. 
he knows he can be himself and still be with people who are different without worrying that he's going to be tarnished or have his ideas and the things he values changed without his hearsay. We're losing it. Excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing you, Ace. I happen to think that us worms are still doing a good job. Look at all the people being put out of their homes and sent away. Aren't we still doing a great job? No, I agree with Ray. As long as there are people like Ali out there, afraid to open the can, find out what we're really up to, and others like Tony, afraid to challenge his expression of his own identity, if he even knows what it is, in case he doesn't like what he sees or loses a point, we're laughing. And, and uh, what you're saying then, sis, is that we have nothing to worry about, that, that people will never be free of us, afraid to open the can. It's just that there are things like Black Lives Matter, and friendship clubs, good relations policies, that just might create a, a bit more confidence. I think we'll be fine. Denial and avoidance are flourishing. Sure, most people in Northern Ireland think that racist is what other people are. They don't look at themselves. They're so busy rivaling and scapegoating one another on either side of the sectarian divide here that they can't see how well they're playing the race game. Yeah, and the ones who do nothing are by default supporting us too. They'd have far too much work to do to find out about their own racism, even if they wanted to. I think you're right, Ray. Whatever you say, say nothing, is still alive and well. Look at Ali. As long as racism is kept well out of the conversations here, we are safe in our we can. And is, is that Ali now? And yes, Tony's coming, and the rest of the club as well, and the leader. Oh, and they, they have a contract agreement and all. I think our we can is about to be opened. Right. This can is not mine. I didn't create it and the worms inside affect all of us here. The only way to deal with them is to open up and learn more about them. Let me introduce you to Ray, Ace, Sis, M. Racism. They're only wee worms but they thrive in secrecy and opening up helps us to own them instead of them owning us. And to finish with a collect. All embracing God who stood up for the children the women, the stranger, the dispossessed, the marginalised and the condemned sinner. Challenge our hypocrisy and complicity in the rules and systems of power that would control us, so that your perfect love may drive out our fear and enable us to speak truth to power in love. Amen.